OK, we're now ready to start drawing the walls of our new room. The reason that I like to draw walls first when I'm creating rooms manually is because that I can join all the walls together after we've finished putting them in place and turn them automatically into a floor. I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Let's start by making sure that we've got the right type of line that we're going to draw. Lines are defined in Campaign Cartographer as having a fill style represented here, in this case it's a dirt brown line, and a line style. Lines can be solid or dotted or whatever. These are completely customizable. We're going to create a wall style of our own, a, a line style of our own. To do this, we click on the fill style box here, and brings up this little display. We're going to create an entirely new type of fill style. We could use any of the many that are automatically in here, but I want these walls to be quite unique. In fact, I want them to be a pink stone. So here's how we're going to create this unique fill style for the line. We click on new, and then we give it a name. I'm going to call it P wall, so it's easy to find. <laughs> pink stone. There we go. There's many other options that you can set here, but the one that we're really interested in is the bitmap fill, since this is a bitmap. You click on the Find button, and it takes you down to your disk browser. We're going to go into the Campaign Cartographer 3 bitmaps folder, and we can see we've got tiles here. A little hint, if you can get hold of them, download the CSUAC um, Campaign Cartographer kits. These are, these are a fantastic resource, and I strongly recommend them. In this particular case, we're going to use a CSUAC style. I'm going, to I'm going to change this to thumbnails. Now, let's find the nice pink stone blocks. I know it's down here somewhere. Oop, that's the one I want. I'm going to make our wall that stone block setting. As you can see, the file name matches the file that we have selected. We have a bit of a preview here, which is a, a little bit too high a resolution. That will give you another, another resolution version of it, but let's just make sure that we scale it to 10 foot in order for our drawing, and we click on OK. Now we're all set. We've got a pink wall st um, stone style here. We'll also make sure that we get the right wall width. I'm going to set our wall width to 1.5 feet, just to make sure. Let's start drawing our initial room by using the path command, the line path command. I'll click on it here, and remember we've still got our grid snap set, so everything will work nicely. We'll start here. I want a little strange sort of shape at the end here. Maybe some sort of a connection area. As you can see, I can make my room as odd a shape as I wish. Well, there's one wall, and as you can see, the line style is quite unique. It's using our pink stone blocks. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to put a curved section in here. There's a couple of ways that you can draw curved sections, but the quickest way, I find, is just to come up here to the Draw tool, click on our arcs, and I like to use the center, start, and end. That means I can position exactly where the center of my curve is, and then I just point on the two ends. I'm not going to be particularly worried about where my center is at the moment, and I'll show you why. A quick clue. Whenever you're drawing curves, they always rotate. The, the curves always start and end anti-clockwise. So I've got my center here. I'm going to come out a certain distance, say 30 feet. I'm going to click and I'm going to draw a semicircle. There you go. It's all set. Now, how do we get this piece of wall to connect to here? Hmm. Well, the quick way to do that is to come over here to the normal command that we've been using for move. Typically, we've just left-clicked on this, and it's enabled us to move an object. But I'm going to right-click on it, which brings up a special menu and I'm going to issue the connect command. The connect command is just wonderful for making these irregular shaped rooms. The first thing that you should note when you issue the connect command is that it'll ask you to select the entity. 
Just select one entity in this case, that's our curve. It's selected, then you right click and you say do it. Now we come down here and we select the first end of this entity, the first point that we want to connect. And you can see it's got a little draw line. We want this end to connect to this part of the room. It's now asking us to draw our second point, so we want this end of the room to connect down to here. What Campaign Cartographer does is automatically figures out how the shape should be rotated and scaled and then moved to make that fit perfectly. Let's just zoom out a little bit and see what our room looks like. Terrific! You see how easy it is to make an unusual shaped room? Okay, we'll just resize. Now, if you remember before, I said that I wanted the room to have a curve on two sides. Currently we've just got a strange curve here. What I'd like to do is add a curved wall, say, here. How do we do that? Well, let's zoom in on to our work area. And as you can see, we've got a wall that's already set up and established. What we need to do is cut a bit of a, a, bit of a break in that wall area. There's a couple of quick ways that you can do this. The quickest way is to use this function here, which is called the Break Tool. When you click the Break Tool, the system will ask you to select the entity to break. In this case, it's going to be the line. It will then ask you where you want to start the break. I'm going to start it here. And where you want to end the break point, and I'm going to break it here. If we redraw, you can see our line has now been broken, our wall has been broken, ready for us to put in another curve. Let's draw another curve right now. Again, draw. In fact, rather than drawing a perfect curve, let's draw an unusual shaped curve. We can do this using the Smooth Path tool. And I'm going to start my path here, draw it here, here, and here. That's a pretty weird looking curve, but hey, we're just having some fun. Again, we can use the Connect tool, select the curve that we want to connect, select the endpoint, oh, do it, select the endpoint to there, select the endpoint, and we want it there. And as you can see, Campaign Cartographer has moved the wall into the correct place. Let's zoom out. We can now see we've got a, a very unusual shaped room.